Good evening. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in your neck of the woods. This is what it looks like in my backyard where my office is. I get to look out this window and this time of the day it's early evening about 4 30 ish and uh, the sun is trickling through the leaves so it's putting a nice little shadow on my desk here so it's not that harsh bright sunshine butterflies come birds so it's just so wonderful there was a butterfly in the back i don't know if you got to see him flip by so now i'm going to bring you into the project of the day okay and let's hope that everything stays steady nothing goes awry okay let's see if we can get this tightened back up where is that? I moved it a minute ago. Okay. All right, so we're just going to bring everything a little bit this way. Okay, so the last little bits of what I'm going to be putting on the front of my journal. So this is what I would call my secret journal. This is a really unique and fun way to do a journal. Completely out of the box of any other journal that you've seen done before. And it reminds me of those old-fashioned country wall hangings where they used to have a ribbon hanging down and then there was three photos or pictures of whatever you wanted to put there. And you would put it, you know, in whatever room but depending on what photos you had you could have it for your kitchen a bedroom living room all sorts of things so this is where um i thought of that when i saw this being done on another video on a youtuber's channel i believe it's um book vandal shop dawn i believe is her name and so I decided I wanted to make one of these myself. Now, follow along as you watch the unveiling. Okay, so there's the first page. And then here's your next page. <clears throat> and then that opens to reveal two more pages. <clears throat> and then this. All right, something's... Okay folds down to reveal another page okay and then this opens up to reveal yet another page so you have 10 opportunities to journal to make little tuck spots as I did here to show off some really cute and fun ideas of what is inside. Isn't this adorable? Absolutely adorable. So again, everything folds back on itself. And then there you have it. So I'm just finishing up decorating the front of the cover. I finished the back. Since this is going to set down, I didn't want to have a lot of bulky things here. I may put a pocket and put something in here. I'll just have to wait and see what I'm going to do with it. But as you can see, I did this in a black and white monochromatic style. And I just loved this. I, you know, color, beautiful colors. I love pinks and peach and green purples, blues, but I said, you know, what about just a simple black and white? And then that way, whoever decides that they would like to have this beautiful, unique journal for their self, then they can go ahead and if they want to jazz it up more and put color inside, well then go right ahead. Feel free to do that. This page here, I'm going to be adding something on it but again since it was a 
opposite of that page, this has a little bit of a, a bulk. This again here, I left this blank. So I may just leave those two blank and give you the opportunity to add something there that you want to put there. Maybe that's where you'll put some color. Now, what would you name this journal? If this journal was yours, what would you name it? So then when you sit down and you want to start using your journal, what would you name it? So when you write, you would say, Dear Secret Journal. And then you start working in your secret journal. And everything you do, you give that salutation. Dear Secret Journal. And the reason why I'm telling you to do that... Where's my napkin? <laughs> little smidgen of glue decided to hitchhike on that corner. Okay. I will have to fix you later. Alright, so something's going to have to go there. Alright, anyway, there's a psychology behind that. So when you are going to journal, you need to name your journal, and then every day, every time you sit down and start to work in that journal, you're going to use that introduction, dear whatever you named it. Actually, there's an um, interesting thing that happens in the brain when you do that, and the brain kind of sits up and takes notice. So go ahead and Google that, why you should name your journal. So I don't name the journals that I sell. I name my personal journals. So this one I'm leaving for you to name. So it's so pretty. There's lots of florals going on here, stripes, patterns, um, just really unique things. Let me show you what's in this pocket here. Okay, this is an envelope pocket. Isn't this really cute? Just made from junk mail envelope. And now you can fill this with anything that your little heart desires. Write a letter to your future self. Whatever it is, that little tuck spot right here in this fabric pocket that I made and embellished is going to have that secret letter waiting for you to write. And then over here on this side, in this fabric pocket, I just put four journaling cards. So now, again, you can write some secret little messages in here. And I use the same white cotton muslin here that I tied onto the tops. And this is just some uh, ribbon that I made and some cheesecloth. I stitched around the edges of those. Okay, and then this card here, I just layered it and I fussy cut it and put the flowers on top. And this is retired paper from Stampin' Up. And then I took a Jane Austen book, Emma, and I took the vintage book pages and I put them in here and I inked around them. And then so in the top pocket uh, spot, it's not a pocket, is a journal. So this journal, I didn't put a tie around it or anything because it just it stays flat. But I did put a little paper ribbon here and I made one down here. So I wanted to show you how I made those. I thought that you would appreciate seeing how I did that. But before I fold it all up on itself again, because I just finished these fresh, and I always put wax paper down to prevent it from sticking to the other items. Okay, so these were done previously. So those are fine. They don't need to have anything there. All right, so now let's work on this front cover. And real quick, I'm not going to glue everything down, but I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be embellishing. So this flower here that I cut out is going to go on that corner. This flower here that I cut out is going to go on this corner. This flower here that I cut out is going to go there. And then this little paper fabric ribbon I made is going to go right here. So let me show you, and I'm thinking I might put a sentiment there, so once I do, then you'll be able to see what that is. Okay, so real quick, let me show you how I made the flower ribbon. It's very easy. 
So when I was doing the journal inside that you saw, and you know how when you're going to cut, tear off, you're just tearing the pages to give it that rustic look, save those little torn off pieces. Okay, so then now just take those pieces, and they don't have to be measuring all the same length or anything, and then they can be curled any old which way, and just use different colors from what you tore off. Layer them in so that you have a really cute and nice mixture. Okay, so you can just keep as adding as many as you want. Now take one of your smaller scraps that you tore off and start in the back and then just l come in and just wrap it around and voila! There you just made your own little scrap paper ribbon that you can use as an embellishment like I did here on your journal, a card, whatever. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little mini preview flip of this book. And again, leave me in the comments section, what would you name this secret journal? And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.